Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for June 8, read by Craig M. from Denny, Scotland. A thoughts for the day. Fellowship. We are average Americans. All sections of this country and many of its occupations are represented as well as many political, economic, social and religious backgrounds. We are people who normally would not mix, but there exists among us a fellowship, a friendliness and an understanding which is indescribably wonderful. The tremendous fact for every one of us is that we have discovered a common solution. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 17. Thought to consider. The journey is the destination. Acronyms. HALT. Hungry. Angry. Lonely. Tired. Just for today. When. Step 1. We admitted we were powerless over alcohol that our lives had become unmanageable. Alcoholics who still had their health, their families, their jobs and even two cars in the garage began to recognise their alcoholism. They were spared the last 10 or 15 years of literal hell the rest of us had gone through. Since step 1 requires an admission that our lives have become unmanageable, how could people such as these take this step? It was obviously necessary to raise the bottom the rest of us had hit to the point where it would hit them. By going back on our own drinking histories, we could show that years before we realised it, we were out of control, that our drinking even then was no mere habit, that it was indeed the beginning of a fatal progression. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 23. Daily Reflections Opening up to change Self-searching is the means by which we bring new vision, action and grace to bear upon the dark and negative side of our natures. With it comes the development of that kind of humility that makes it possible for us to receive God's help. We find that bit by bit we can discard the old life, the one that did not work, for a new life that can and does work under any conditions whatever. As Bill sees it, page 10. I've been given a daily reprieve contingent upon my spiritual condition, provided I seek progress, not perfection. To become ready for change, I practice willingness, opening myself to possibilities of change. If I realize there are defects that hinder my usefulness in AA and towards others, I become ready by meditation and receiving direction. Some of us have tried to hold on to our old ideas and the result was nil until we go absolutely. It's Alcoholics Anonymous, page 58. To let go and let God, I need only surrender my old ways to him. I no longer fight, nor do I try to control, but simply believe that, with God's help, I am changed and affirming this belief makes me ready. I empty myself to be full of awareness, light and love, and I am ready to face each day with hope. As Bill sees it. Between the extremes. The real question is whether we can learn anything from our experiences upon which we may grow and help others to grow in the likeness and image of God. We know that if we rebel against doing that which is reasonably possible for us, then we will be penalised. And we will be equally penalised if we presume in ourselves a perfection that simply is not there. Apparently the course of relative humility and progress will have to lie somewhere between these extremes. In our slow progress away from rebellion, True perfection is doubtless several millennia away. It's from a letter in 1959. Big Book Quote We have seen the truth demonstrated again and again. Once an alcoholic, always an alcoholic. Commencing to drink after a period of sobriety, where in short time as bad as ever. So Alcoholics Anonymous, more about alcoholism, page 33. 24 hours a day. A thought for the day. Once an alcoholic, always an alcoholic. We always get worse, never better. We're never cured. Our alcoholism can only be arrested. No matter how long we have been sober, if we try liquor again, we're as bad or worse than we ever were. There is no exception to this rule in the whole history of AA. We can never recapture the good times of the past. They are gone forever. Will I try to recapture them? Meditation for the day. Your life has been given to you mainly for the purpose of training your soul. This life we live is not much for the body as for the soul. We often choose the way of life that best suits the body, not the way that best suits the soul. God wants you to choose what suits the soul as well as the body. 
Accept this belief and a wonderful moulding of character as a result. Reject it and God's purpose for your life is frustrated and your spiritual progress is delayed. Your soul has been trained by the good you choose. Thus, the purpose of your life is being accomplished. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may choose what is good for my soul. I pray that I may realise God's purpose for my life. Hazel Dean Foundation, PO Box 176, Centre City, MN 55012. This is Transitions Daily. My name is Craig and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.